structure. Did you have any idea that it would become the phenomenon that it has? No, no idea. Uh, it, it was a big surprise to us. The script had been rejected over 40 times. And uh, of course we uh, changed the cast, the lead character. Uh, nobody had any idea. And the fact that here we are today, almost 35 years after the release of the film, and we're still talking about it, and we've got a theatrical musical in the works that's coming out in 2020. It's just great. People loving the movie who weren't even born when, uh, uh, whose, whose parents weren't even married when the movie came out. It, it's, it's amazing. How does it feel to see it continue to be handed down from one generation to the other? It's amazing. It's, it's, it's well, for me, uh, the movie that was kind of, it was kind of like is uh, The Wizard of Oz. Uh, I wasn't born when The Wizard of Oz came out, but they used to run it on television <clears throat> at Thanksgiving in the States. And I understand over here on Boxing Day, they used to run it on TV all the time. So families would gather around the uh, television and uh, they'd show their kids, oh, you must see this wonderful film. And uh, now those kids have grown up and they're showing it to their kids. The inspiration is that uh, I attended the same high school that my father did. And in the summer of 1980, I was visiting my parents uh, in a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri, and I happened to discover my father's high school yearbook, which I'd never seen. I discovered he was a president of his graduating class. And I thought about the president of my graduating class, who was this guy that was this you know, rah-rah, school spirit kind of guy that I couldn't stand. And I said to myself, gee, was that the kind of guy my dad was when he was in high school? If I'd gone to high school with my dad, would I have even been friends with him? And that was the uh, lightning bolt that struck me, and I said, hey, that's a really good idea for a movie. A kid goes back in time and ends up in high school with his dad. And everything grew out of that idea. When I was a little kid, uh, my next door neighbor was a professional photographer, and he had a dark room in his basement. And I remember when I was 10, 11 years old, going over to his basement and watching him develop film. He was, to me, kind of like what Doc Brown was, that he could make magic and science and cool things happen in his basement. So that was kind of... He was kind of an inspiration for Doc Brown. And have you seen the Stranger Things at all, the latest season of Stranger Things? I saw the, uh, I saw the episode where they hide out in the theater playing Back to the Future, and I, I got a big kick out of it. And so how does that feel to see it represented in the theater again? And is it anything like the real reaction to it in the theater? Well, they didn't quite get it right, because in, in, in back in the day, as soon as, at the very end, as soon as the car lifted off and the audience saw that it was a flying car, they burst out into applause. They didn't wait till the very end. They just started cheering right at that moment and kept applauding throughout. So they didn't quite get it right.